Every second of every day, something extraordinary is happening right beneath your feet, something so constant, so silent, that you never even think about it. Right now, as you listen to this, your entire world is moving. The oceans, the mountains, the trees, even the air around you, everything is being carried through space at a speed faster than a jet plane. At the equator, Earth spins at 1,670 km per hour, yet you feel nothing. No wind, no force, no motion. Just stillness. But make no mistake, you are riding a 12,700 km wide ball of rock and water, spinning through the void of space, while orbiting a star that's racing around a galaxy that's tearing through the universe. So here's the question. Why does the Earth keep spinning? Why hasn't it stopped after 4.6 billion years? And what ancient cosmic moment set this eternal motion in place? Because the answer, is not just about physics. It's a story about creation, balance, and the delicate rhythm that made life itself possible. To find out, we have to travel back. To a time before oceans, before continents, before the very idea of Earth. Back, to the beginning. Four and a half billion years ago, there was no Earth, no oceans, no sky. Just a cloud, a vast, chaotic storm of gas, dust, and violent energy swirling around a newborn sun. Gravity, the quiet sculptor of the cosmos, began to pull tiny grains together. Each collision made something a little larger, dust became rock, rock became mountain-sized chunks, and collisions turned into creation. But these impacts were never perfect. They struck at angles, sending ripples of motion through the newborn worlds. And somewhere in that ancient chaos, one world began to spin. That world was destined to become our home. When those rocks smashed together billions of years ago, they didn't just build Earth's body. They set its heart in motion. Each angled collision gave a tiny twist, a nudge, a cosmic flick of the wrist. And in space, motion doesn't fade away easily. Because once something starts spinning in the emptiness of the cosmos, it keeps spinning. This eternal dance is ruled by one of physics' most elegant laws. The law of conservation of angular momentum. It says, if nothing interferes, a spinning object will keep turning, forever. There is no air in space to create friction. No surface to slow things down. No atmosphere to push back. So, the rotation that began billions of years ago continues even now, silent, unstoppable, and ancient beyond imagination. But that doesn't mean Earth spins completely untouched. Tiny forces are always whispering against it, the air above, the oceans below, and the gentle pull of our closest companion, the moon. The moon's gravity tugs at Earth's oceans, creating tides that rise and fall twice a day. Those tides push back, ever so slightly, against Earth's spin, like a hand trying to slow a wheel that's been turning for ages. It's a cosmic tug of war. And the result is subtle but real. Our days are getting longer. 600 million years ago, one day on Earth lasted only about 21 hours. Now it's 24. That's how slow the slowdown is, so gradual, you'd never notice it without looking deep into the history of rocks and coral, which still record the ancient rhythm of shorter days. But even with these gentle breaks, our planet keeps spinning, because the force of its birth is far greater than the whispers trying to slow it. Now here's a question. If Earth is spinning so fast, why don't we feel it? At the equator, you're moving at 1,670 km per hour, faster than the speed of sound. Yet you feel nothing. That's because everything around you, the air, the oceans, the land, even your body, is moving with the planet. You are part of the ride. It's like sitting in a plane cruising high above the clouds, smooth, steady, and almost motionless from your seat, even though you're flying at breathtaking speed. That's why we can live, sleep, and dream on a spinning world, never realizing we are passengers in motion. And here's something fascinating. Earth doesn't spin at the same speed everywhere. Near the poles, rotation slows down, that's why space agencies launch rockets near the equator. 
The planet's spin gives rockets an extra push, a free boost of thousands of kilometers per hour. It's nature's invisible launch pad. Tone deepens, mysterious. But what would happen if Earth stopped spinning, even for a moment? The consequences would be, catastrophic. Everything on the surface, the oceans, the atmosphere, the trees, the buildings, would keep moving at the same speed the planet was once turning. At over 1,000 miles per hour, the world would tear itself apart. Oceans would roar across continents. Winds faster than any hurricane would shred the surface. The planet's magnetic field would collapse, exposing us to deadly solar radiation. It would be the most violent break check in the history of the universe. Luckily, physics doesn't allow that kind of sudden stop. The forces that began this spin are ancient, stable, and vast. They will outlast mountains, oceans, and maybe even life itself. But here's something even more beautiful. The reason Earth spins, is also the reason you exist. That gentle rotation shapes the planet's climate, divides light from darkness, creates day and night, and gives rhythm to every living thing. Without it, there would be no sunrise or sunset, no changing winds, no balance between warmth and cold. Life needs the turning. Our spin even changes how we experience gravity. At the equator, centrifugal force slightly lifts you upward, making you weigh just a bit less than at the poles. It also squishes the Earth's shape, turning it from a perfect sphere into a slightly flattened, living world, marked forever by its motion. And that spin, that perfect motion, keeps time itself. Every sunrise, every shadow, every heartbeat you've ever felt, exists within its rhythm. When astronauts gaze out of their spacecraft windows, they see what we can't. A blue marble turning slowly, peacefully, through the black sea of space. From up there, you can see the motion, the earth rotating beneath clouds and storms, carrying continents like a slow waltz in the dark. To them, it's mesmerizing, a living planet spinning in silence, powered by the same cosmic push that began billions of years ago. If you could somehow watch the Earth in time lapse over millions of years, you'd see it slowing just a little, but never stopping. Because in the emptiness of space, motion never truly dies. It lingers. It echoes. It endures, like the quiet heartbeat of the universe itself. And now, we arrive at the edge of the story, the moment where science meets meaning. Because maybe, the Earth's endless spin isn't just a law of physics. Maybe it's a metaphor, for continuity, for resilience, for life that refuses to stand still. Everything that lives on this planet moves, the winds, the tides, the heartbeat, even our thoughts. We are, in every sense, children of motion. Born from a world that never learned how to stop. Billions of years ago, a swirl of dust began to turn. That simple motion, that first spin, became everything. It shaped a world of oceans and continents, of storms and seasons. It carved night and day, balance and rhythm, creation and change. And somehow, within that rhythm, life emerged. Every breath you take, every heartbeat, every step across the surface of this spinning sphere. All of it exists because the planet never stopped moving. The earth doesn't turn because it chooses to. It turns because it was born to. And in that endless rotation lies a lesson older than life itself. Motion is survival. When you fall, you keep moving. When the world shifts beneath you, you adapt. When life pushes against you, you spin through it, just like this planet, refusing to stop. Because the moment motion ends, everything fades. Look at our world from the silence of space. A blue marble surrounded by darkness, turning endlessly in the glow of the sun. From here, there are no borders, no noise, no chaos. Just a perfect motion, the heartbeat of everything we are. If the earth could speak, maybe it would whisper. Keep moving. Keep turning. Keep creating. Because this rotation, this constant change, is what makes the impossible possible. It's what turns darkness into dawn, and endings into beginnings. So the next time you watch a sunrise, remember. 
You're not watching the sun rise at all. You're watching your world spin toward the light. A motion that began before time had a name. And will continue long after we're gone. And maybe that's the most human thing about our planet. Because no matter what happens, through chaos, silence, or change, we, too, are built to keep spinning. The universe doesn't waste motion. It doesn't forget beginnings. Once it starts, it just keeps going. And so should we. Narrator, closing. This is our planet. Our motion. Our story. And as long as the earth keeps turning, so will we. If this story moved you, share it. Because science is more than knowledge, it's wonder. Like, subscribe, and join us here on Wise Us. Where the universe becomes something you can actually feel. Even when it's moving at 1000 miles per hour beneath your feet.